and I saw no change in my channel growth in fact I feel like my channel was doing worse hello welcome or welcome back to my channel for today i wanted to do my makeup because the last one i did actually did pretty good but i just didn't want to do my makeup i can't see i also wanted to talk about being a small youtuber let's just get started for the primer i am going to be using too faced hangover i've always like to youtube it wasn't until like maybe fifth grade that i really took a liking to it like enough to want to make a channel but i obviously did make it well not obviously but i didn't make one even though i really don't know why because like at that time people were like had super bad quality for their videos and like they were filming on their webcams and all that type of stuff and all i had at that time to film was an ipad which it so it really wouldn't matter i would like film videos on my ipad and like just rewatch them and then delete them i should have just like uploaded it and i'm going with in with the elf poreless putty primer Ooh. i can't multitask yeah i did that for a while and like i did that in like middle school too i was really weird but one day in high school i think i put too much of this on it's like my second time using it and the first time i didn't put enough and like now it's like I'm putting too much in here. I was home alone one day in 2017. So I did a nail polish collection video, which at that time I was super big into nail polish. Like I had a lot. The perfect time to start my YouTube channel, I feel like is when I had my crazy nail polish obsession. I don't know where I got the funds to buy all that nail polish, but I had it. And that video was three years ago. Specifically, it was posted on May 25th, 2007. And I didn't even show my face in that video. And then my next video was the new YouTuber tags when I started getting a little more serious in it. I posted that on July 15th, 2017. I'm gonna re-answer these questions to see how they change. I haven't seen that video in forever. I don't suggest you watching it because it's cringy. I'm going in with my foundation now. I have the NYX Stay Matte but not flat and the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour wearing foundation. So I posted that video and I actually got a good response on it. I feel like a lot of people when they're new to youtube they do that tag but then after that i was just posting random videos i was very inconsistent with posting i would post once in a blue moon because i was pretty busy i was in my junior year of high school and you know counts the booths in regards to like college senior year i didn't really post a lot last summer i did good on posting like college related videos but then in college I didn't really post a lot which i'm not surprised that i didn't post a lot this is my first year of college i was trying to get into the swing of things and now fast forward to 2020 and more specifically since this quarantine has started i started to get a little bit more serious about my channel i got a camera lighting i started posting consistently and i saw no change in my channel growth in fact i feel like my channel was doing worse i started posting once a week which was a lot well for me because <laughs> i never did that before and i feel like less people were watching my channel than before i feel like i was putting so much effort into this for no reason because i wasn't getting any type of result and i started to get very discouraged because it's like if i'm putting all this effort in and no one's watching then what's the point my last video which was my quarantine haul video i filmed it two weeks before i edited and uploaded it because i was so discouraged and unmotivated yensa bb concealer bb i got it in my may ipsy bag i was posting once a week my videos were getting less than 10 views not that my my videos before were doing super amazing it's just that they were doing better than that <laughs> I somehow mustered the motivation to edit that video and I actually edited really in like in a different way than what I was ever used to doing before and I really liked it. I added sound effects and video effects and a little music. It made it not only fun to actually edit it but I liked how it looked like the finished result looking back so if you watched that video I hope you enjoyed the editing. And I actually thought that video was going to do decently 
I don't know why. I posted it the next day and I was waiting for like the views to come up and then by like the fourth hour I only had like four views and so that's when I started to look at like those small YouTuber support. Up until this point I only had 81 subscribers which is also why I started to get so unmotivated. I've had my YouTube channel for like three years and I didn't reach 100 subscribers. I started doing those YouTuber support videos like promoting myself on them. I joined a Facebook group page promoting my channel. I asked my sister to promote my channel. I'm gonna use the air spun on the places that I put my highlight. But anywho, by doing this, I slowly started to, to gain more subscribers. Which is really good, obviously. I don't know how to apply this. I started to get very happy because people were subscribing to me. Now I have over Now I have 117 subscribers, which is really good considering all of this happened two days ago. So I'm filming this on July 1st and I really started promoting my channel on June 28th because it's like, what's the point of having like all those subscribers if they're not even watching channel, you know what I mean? That's another thing you have to worry about. Like, okay, you have the subscribers now, but are they going to actually watch your videos? And then you also have to worry about like how long that they watch your videos. I was watching a lot of videos on how to like gain subscribers and they were talking about like, getting your watch time up. And I obviously know I'm... Now that's just disrespectful. Being a small YouTuber isn't easy, but I was thinking about uploading two times out of the week. Yeah, if I post this video this week, which I plan on doing, this will be my second video of the week since I posted that, um, the quarantine haul video. Because I usually post on, on Saturdays anyway. This brush was not this shape when I first bought it. I will have it edited and onto YouTube just on unlisted or private. Now I'll do the thumbnail and like the tags and all that stuff in the description box on Saturday and then I will upload it. Since it's July, I will be starting school. Well, hopefully I will be starting school next month. A lot of school related videos that I want to film. I'm gonna do eyebrows. <laughs> I totally suck at eyebrows. Does this mean my camera is about to die? My camera is like on the edge of dying. I just charged it up for like five minutes. That's how my makeup is looking so far. I'm not that great at makeup. For the rest of this video, I'm going to be answering some questions. The new YouTuber tag. So the first question is, what is your name? Well, my name is Kayla and my channel name is K-Life. I couldn't figure out anything else to name my channel. I didn't want to put my real name because my my name is very distinctive. If you google like my name, I'm the only person that comes up. I have nothing to hide. Where are you from? I was born in Brooklyn, New York, and I moved to South Carolina when I was like four years old. I forgot to put foundation over top of my eyelids. How tall are you? I'm 5'4". How old are you? I am 19. I honestly need to get my eyebrows like plucked or something. How many siblings do you have? I have two brothers and two sisters. What are your hobbies apart from making YouTube? I like watching Netflix and YouTube. I don't really do anything else. I've been so lazy during quarantine. Is this your first channel? Yes, it is. Who is your target audience? Preferably like people around my age and we would be into like the same things, but also not really. This is how not to do your eyebrows. That is horrible. Why should anyone subscribe to your channel? I don't know. I guess I'm not really looking to gain anything out of doing YouTube except for like having fun. We're going to pretend like my eyebrows look good. Where do you see yourself? in your youtube channel in five years by then i would have graduated and have a job in my youtube i actually don't know if you don't know i'm going to school to be a teacher and so hopefully i can start focusing more of my channel that type of content maybe have like at least a thousand subscribers by that point what inspired you to start making videos like i said before i was always interested in it no specific person fired me or anything who are some of your favorite youtubers i like javlogs i recently have gotten to samantha 
Joe. Just discovered her channel like two days ago and I've been watching a whole bunch of her videos. How much time do you spend on YouTube every day? Well recently I've been watching YouTube more than Netflix so I spend quite a bit of time on YouTube and especially yesterday Tati posted that video on her channel. If you know then you know. I was going back and forth on Twitter and YouTube like all day yesterday. What does your username mean? It's just the first three letters of my first name and then life. I didn't know what I wanted to name my channel. Like I said before, I didn't want to put my name and like I couldn't just put Kayla. Best thing about YouTube. Maybe that it's a creative outlet for people. YouTube can be very carefree. A lot of people, they just really feel like they can be themselves, which you really can. I need like more eyeshadow palettes. All I have are these like deep purples and I want something brighter. The worst thing about YouTube, since YouTube is such a big platform it's kind of it's hard for smaller people to like get their name out there what software do you use for video editing i mentioned this in my last video but i use filmora 9 it's pretty nice i just really did not want to pay all that money for final cut pro it does seem like there's a lot more stuff to do on final cut but i'm still pretty small and my channel hasn't taken off like maybe if my channel grows like significantly significantly more i would consider buying it but for now no what camera do you use to record videos i use the sony what are your goals when it comes to youtube my goal is to have at least a thousand like i don't want like a super crazy amount of like subscribers i mean if it happens it happens but i just want at least like a thousand subscribers have you ever met anyone from youtube in real life no because i don't go anywhere and i live in south carolina nobody comes here yes ofra how often will you upload videos for your viewers like i said i'm thinking about doing twice a week before that i was doing once a week hello but before that i was doing once a week and before that i was just uploading whenever i wanted but i'm gonna try from now on to start posting twice a week does your family friends support you in making videos yeah have supported me they subscribe and the last question is any advice for new youtubers stay consistent vote yourself to friends family like put on your facebook page because it doesn't hurt mainly from high school to know i had a chance you don't have to had like a whole bunch of that's what my mistake is i didn't want people into the equipment when you first started i put so much highlight on that it kind of looks nice far away let's do this heart h2o gloss that looks a little better i don't know i feel like i'm about to go out this highlighter like under my eye oh my gosh yeah that was all for this video it was kind of ranty video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already it would mean a lot we're not worrying about the makeup i'm not going outside so i can look at like a clown inside the house it don't matter bye